Welcome back to Bags Bourbon. I'm Bobby. Right on. If you don't know already, I got a new uh, little uh, tabletop here. Or to get some good scars in it. Make it a little David over here. Anyway, so today is the winner of Which One Wednesday? We had Elijah Craig's Small Batch up against Jack Daniels Sinatra Select. And Sinatra Select is probably one of the only Tennessee whiskeys that I prefer, I like, that I look forward to. I like it so much uh, when I got it. First time I had it was in Vegas at 1923 Speakeasy in Mandalay Bay. We both had it, loved it. So I'm like, oh, I gotta get some of this. So we found it, got a bottle of it. So about a year later, we wanted some more of it because it was running a little bit low. And my wife found another bottle of it at Bevmo. Anyway, so winner is Sinatra Select. Here we go. Sinatra Select. Jack Daniels Sinatra Select. Winner of Which One Wednesday. It's my pleasure to review this one. 90 proof. I'm trying to get that Sinatra Select Century at 100 proof because I like this one so much that I want to try that another 10 proof, right? Which would make it 100 proof. Good luck, right? If anyone's got a Century Edition of this and wants to send me a handshake of it, I would much appreciate that. So we have this at... Uh, we got it for like 150 bucks the first time, right? Next time we got it at Bevmo, I believe my wife says she got it for under 100 bucks, like 95, something like that, which is great. It's a liter bottle. It's not a 750 milliliter. It's a it's a liter bottle, so that does make a little bit of a difference. So I'm going to get a pour of this real quick, right? I I will enjoy this. Oh man, that's good. So I generally don't like the Tennessee whiskey because it's got that really like funky nut flavor. For whatever reason, it just doesn't agree with me. But I do like this. I love this. I love this. Let's get some of this right here. Oh my goodness. I don't get a lot of that funky nut on the Jack Daniels Sinatra Select for some reason. For me, it doesn't taste like Old number seven at all. So this is a tribute to Frank Sinatra. Frank Sinatra was on stage. He said this was the old number seven was the nectar of the gods, right? Always had old number seven on the stage with him. That was his jam. That's what he did. So after his passing, Jack Daniels then made a tribute bottle to him in the form of Jack Daniels Sinatra Select. It's a little bit different process. They scrape the wood stays on the inside of the barrel, soaks in a little bit more. A little bit different process to try to replicate what it tastes like back in those days. It is, it is good. It doesn't taste like the typical Tennessee whiskey for me. That's why, that's why I like it, I, I believe. Like I said, it's a little bit different, right? And try to replicate what it tastes like back then. So it's, Scraped wood staves, you got grooves in the wood staves to let the, the bourbon uh, seep deeper into the wood, get more of that uh, toasted barrel taste and smell. So it, it does have a little bit more of that and you can smell it on the nose. It's like 80% corn, 8% rye, 12% malted barley. That's the mash bill. Uh, makeup of this thing it's it's really cool I'm glad that Jack Daniels uh, came out and paid homage to uh, Sinatra because he really did them a service while he was alive with this saying it was the nectar of the gods and all that right so let me get some on the nose we got some a little bit of caramel not a lot of nut just a tiny bit which I can take that uh, in small doses, some vanilla, some 
Typical bourbon notes. I know it's a Tennessee whiskey, but I got some bourbon notes on this. Let me get some on the palate. Man, man, that's good. Get a little bit more nut than I remember, but tastes like a nut or butter more than just like a, that nut that you typically associate with a Tennessee whiskey. It's good. It doesn't taste like, like I said, a normal Tennessee whiskey, not like old number seven at all. This Sinatra Select is, is something special. And like I said, if anyone's got some uh, tasty notes that may be different on that Century Edition of this or knows how I could get some of that uh, Century Edition, please let me know in the comments, please. I really would like to have some of that. I'm really curious on if it tastes different than this 90 proof. Yeah, that's really good. Really good. It's not my favorite whiskey of all time, but it's really good. And for a Tennessee whiskey, I, I gotta say, it's still, it's like, like I said, a nut or butter taste. Some caramel, vanilla, sweet peanut butter. Man, I really like this. It's really good. I gotta say, I, I, I'm just gonna cut this short. Winner of which one Wednesday, Sinatra Select. I love it. That's why I've got two bottles of it. It comes in a liter bottle for this special edition. Sinatra Select. I got to give it five axes, baby. This is bad axe. Five axes. Five axes. Yeah. I really, really like this. This is good. Really good. I would recommend this to people that love Tennessee whiskey for sure. Even if you're not a Tennessee whiskey fan, Give this a try. The Sinatra Select is not your typical Tennessee whiskey. It's tamer. You don't get a lot of those Tennessee whiskey notes. Anyway, cheers to Sinatra Select and to Frank. Right on, cheers. All right. What do we like to say on this channel? Sharing good bourbon or Tennessee whiskey with friends and family is bad axe. I'm Bobby. Thanks for watching. Till next time.